even just design like logos and branding for different companies and like flyers and posters and stuff. Pretty much to help businesses market. You're an artist to an extent because you're creating something uh, for branding and marketing. Designing things for a business to make it look appealing. Uh, graphic designer uh, provides uh, imagery for businesses, causes, or ideas that will impart uh, a message to the public. They design things for companies based on what the company wants, like it could be an ad or a logo or anything in between. It's not always just a company, it can just be um, little projects they do by themselves, websites that they make for things that they enjoy. Anything creative that can be seen by someone else that can either is for a service or a product. Graphic design is a visual art field and they use graphics as a composition of a variety of media. Graphic designers use visual art as a form of communication. So they all have something that they want to say and they try and make it as pleasing to the eye as possible. High school, took some classes in it. From the description of the major, flirted from uh, working with private industry and charitable institutions, plus Robin, she's the bestest ever. I learned it from my job. I work with the graphic designer. Mostly from school, like taking on projects here. But, I mean, you see it all over. Like, you see it online, you see it in design. You just kind of learn from what you see and then also what you're taught in school. So it's kind of like an all-over learning experience. It was probably started in high school, but I really got the definition of a graphic designer when I got out and my dad wanted to know what I wanted to go into and I said, I want to draw things and then my dad said, you need to make money. So then I tried to find where I could draw things and make money. I probably learned in high school when um, I took a photo class. I was learning how to edit photos, so I learned Photoshop and then I took a graphic design course and wanted to do that. I learned a lot about what graphic designers do through community college and working on projects, networking, finding out what people in the field do. I think the thing that interests me the most right now would probably be learning the different programs and working on the computer and then I think after I graduate, I would hope just to have some solid job to make money and then work my way from there. Right now I'm into figuring out Illustrator and how to work that and I would like to be in a stable job. Maybe like something freelance but probably working for an agency first to get my feet on the ground. Uh, I like creating things from nothing and I'd like to work in advertising. I'm writing my own kids books right now and doing my own illustrations for them. And uh, I'm looking to get a job at Underground Printing over the summer as an internship. Me and my buddy want to try making games, see if that works out. And if it doesn't, I'll probably start sending out resumes to places I've interned before and see if anyone wants to take me in. Right now, I feel like once I graduate, it's going to be my frantic time of what am I doing with my life. <laughs> Um, currently, right now, I don't know. Um, I'm putting my resume out and doing some internships. I've set the groundwork for a small business that my friend and I are starting. I would just prepare yourself through internships. Like, I had an internship in New York over the summer because I want to live there. So, just like finding things that you want to do and trying to get ahead. Um, to make yourself better than everybody else. My mom's a choir director, so I said I'll do any of the pamphlet stuff for her, and um, I'm a tennis coach, so I'm gonna do a lot with that. So just random stuff of my own family is I'm just gonna work with that. By doing internships and volunteering, because of as many, the more connections you have, the better you all you'll be. I'm definitely internships and I would say taking any opportunity you can. Like I do graphic design work for a business back home right now and it's already helped me out a lot. I would say create a pretty stacked portfolio and have a lot of different opportunities with working with different programs and different things that you've created to show people what you can do. I 
guess I would hope to have, you know, a solid job and probably living on my own, but not necessarily the job I'll have for the rest of my life. And then in 10 years, I'd hope to work with, you know, someone like Google. In five years, I would like to be at, have some stable job. I mean, I hope it's with graphic design, like an agency or something. In 10 years, it'd be cool if I could own a boutique or something. Um, I've always wanted to do that and I think eventually I can, but probably not in five years. Or five or 10 years really, I'd like to be involved in fashion journalism or fashion photography and um, or fashion PR or just photojournalism in general. In five and 10 years, I'd like to be in the same place uh, working with cars, whether it be designing uh, entire cars or just parts. I just want to be in the field. If I could choose anything, I'd probably want to be in something related to music, like merch design or uh, like cover design for a CD or something, so that would be ideal. As long as I'm doing work, I'll probably be happy. Basically in five years, I just want to have something that's financially stable and gives me some sort of artistic freedom. Ten years, basically it's the same as at five years, but maybe with more of a leadership role. I'll be working with the team. I would love to work in an um, in-house kind of environment, do some freelance work. I think in five years, I just want to be in a comfortable job that makes me happy, that also pays the bills.